Hi everyone, Abby here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Lululemon Drawstring Bucket Crossbody Bag. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So I do have this in the color black and it currently goes for $98. So this bag does have a good amount of logo placement. So first off, we do have right down here, we have some metal Lululemon logos. And I actually really like seeing this written one. You don't see it very often on bags. Next on the draw cord here, we do have a nice big Lululemon on, you know, this part here, as well as on the kind of strings for the draw cord. And then we also have it here on the draw cord as well for this type of zipper pull. Coming over to the side of the bag, we do have a nice long pocket and it can fit my entire hand. Well, it fits, you know, this much of my hand and arm, so nice big pocket. Coming over to the back, nothing much to see, just kind of the other string here. Now, coming over to the inside of the bag, we do have one zippered pocket, some more branding right here. On the inside of the pocket, it does say items of importance, and the zippered pocket here is quite small. It can fit kind of this much of my hand in there. And on the other side, we have solid drop-in pockets. We have one right here, and then we also have another one beside it. And they're both about the exact same size. And we do have this large interior storage space. Another thing is we do have this little thing right here, which I think is like a carrying strap, but it's not removable. It's just kind of always there in the middle of the bag here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like on me and I'm just wearing it as a traditional purse slung over my shoulder. But you can also wear it as a crossbody. To do that, I need to loosen up the strap a little bit. You kind of have to just like feed it through on one end and then pull it on the other. And here it is on me as a crossbody. So I do find this bag fairly comfortable to wear if I am carrying around light items. So if you guys do go ahead and wear it at the max, it kind of goes right to below your hip area. And for anybody wondering, you technically can wear it as a belt bag depending on your waist size. So here I have the strap tightened to the absolute max. And I'm typically a size 10 to 12 on the top, 10 on the bottoms to give you guys some reference here. So for my body type, it just works. If you're someone who is larger than me, I think you can definitely wear it as a belt bag here if you would like to do that. But if you're someone smaller than me, I don't think you're gonna be able to do it because the strap just doesn't go small enough. Obviously it's not intended to be worn as a belt bag, but as you guys know, I always try to see if I can wear them as a belt bag, and for me, it does work. It also has different ways to hold the bag, so you can hold it using the larger strap here, and it also has like a little strap on the inside as well, so you can go ahead and hold that one if you'd like. And now I'm gonna go into the feature highlights about this bag. So it's great for walks, on the go, casual wear, amusement parks, shopping, and more. It's made of a water repellent fabric, so it can keep your items dry in some light rain. It has a spacious five liter capacity that can hold all of your essentials and much more. It has a drawstring closure, multiple pockets for organization. It has strap loops, so you can go ahead and strap on your keychains or your mini or micro bags on the go. It also has an adjustable strap, and the dimensions of this bag are 8.3 inches by 4.9 inches by 10.2 inches. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you what this bag can hold, you know, what I would typically put in my bucket bag. First thing I would do is that this pocket right here is nice and large and it's actually big enough to fit a water bottle. So I'm gonna be putting in a standard 500 milliliter. Next, in the zippered pocket right here on the inside, I'm gonna be putting in a hand lotion and a hand sanitizer. Coming over to the other side of the bag, here we have pockets that are a little bit larger. So I'm gonna put my phone in this pocket. So the next thing I'm gonna put in here are some pens in this other pocket. Now coming over to this interior kind of middle space, I'm gonna go ahead and put my little mini wallet in here. And I had a book lying around, so I'm gonna put that in here as well. And finally, I do have a pair of gloves I'm gonna put in here as well, in the middle area. 
So this is everything I have in here. It is now nice and full, but it's not too, too heavy. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this to kind of close it up. So when you close it, you can really cinch it tight so your items won't be falling out. So that's something that I do like about this bag. Or you can go ahead and, you know, loosen it up if you're looking to grab your items a little bit easier on the go. So I have noticed some cons about this bag. So the first con for me would be that it's expensive. $98 for a bucket crossbody. I just think it's too much. It should definitely be cheaper by at least $20 in my opinion. And another con for me would be that the strap here, the material here, there's zero padding. It's quite thin. And if you're carrying larger items, it just kind of digs into your shoulder and it's not comfortable to wear. And if you're wearing lighter items, there's no issue, but heavier stuff, like if you're lugging around some water bottles and you know books or something, I don't know, you're definitely gonna find it getting uncomfortable pretty fast. So for the interior pockets here, I do wish they were bigger. The interior pockets here are quite small. You really cannot fit a standard size smartphone into this pocket right here. And this one, you know, it fits my Z Flip 4 and it will fit most slab phones, but your phone's gonna be sticking out. It's not, you know, the best. I would have liked bigger pockets here. The only pocket that is nice and big is this one. So you could go ahead and put your phone in there, but I like to use it for water because I like to stay hydrated on the go. I do wish the other pockets were a lot bigger because this bag is so long, but the pockets stop like halfway. So I don't understand that. It just, it's a loss of storage in my opinion. Another thing I don't like about the strap is because of the material here, it's quite slippery. So if you're wearing it as a traditional purse, I find that as I'm walking, it just slides slides off of my shoulder very easily. So I would find myself having to just kind of hold it like this when I'm walking around wearing it as a purse or to just wear it as a crossbody or belt bag or just carry it around one handed um, because you know the strap is very slippery. So that's something that I also want to let you guys know. And finally, I do find that the material here does attract pet hair and lint quite easily. So you're gonna have to kind of lint roll this bag continuously to make sure that it's looking good. And all right guys, considering the price, the quality, the color, the capacity, functionality, and the comfort, I would go ahead and give this an 8.3 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to pick up this Lululemon drawstring bucket crossbody, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.